All right, hey everybody, Mr. W here. Today's lesson is on comparing whole numbers through the thousands place value. And the word comparing for this lesson means that we're going to take uh, two numbers and put them side by side, one on the left side and one on the right side. So here's some examples here. And we're going to compare those numbers to see if they are equal or if one number is greater than another or if one is less than another. And the thousands means, in this case, the two threes, they are in the thousands place value, which means that we're working with numbers that go up to the thousands place value today. This particular example you're looking at um, would read as 3,471 is less than 3,472. So when we're doing um, comparing uh, numbers, there are three outcomes. Greater than, with the greater than symbol, less than, and equal to. And I'm sure we've all heard in first and second grade about the hungry alligator. So for example, if you're comparing numbers that are smaller, right, like 200 and 100, the hungry alligator always wants more, and it doesn't matter if it's going the opposite direction. It's not really a bad uh, strategy to help you remember. Some kids have a hard time remembering which way to make the symbol, so that might be helpful today. Uh, when we compare numbers, we're just comparing the numbers on the left side and the right, digit by digit. So, for example, the 3 and the 3 are equal. We compare the 4 and the 4, and they're the same. The 7 and the 7 are the same. But once we get to that last digit, I notice that they are not the same. In this case, the 2 is greater, so therefore that entire number is greater, right? So we get the, the hungry alligator involved. And again, if we wanted to read that, we're going to read that from the left side to the right side, and this would read as 3,471 is less than 3,472. Okay, so let's look at the same problem we were just doing, but this time using a place value chart just to break it down a little bit more. There's our three outcomes, and there's the two numbers we were working with, and we'll put them down into our place value chart. And uh, when we do this, we're just going to go through our place values from the left side to the right. So I can see that the three, uh, the threes and the thousands are equal, right? If we look at the hundreds, we both have 400, so that's the same. Same thing with our tens, we have two sevens. But of course, once we get to that ones, we can see that they are not the same, right? The two is greater, so therefore, that entire number is greater, right? And then we would just have to put in our uh, symbol, correct? And Again, we would read that as 3,471 is less than 3,472. Let's look at another type of example. This is an example uh, where we do not have the same amount of digits. So let's plug that into our place value chart. Make sure that you line up the ones. I'm going to focus on the ones there, and we'll talk about that for a second, all the way to the right. So, so what do you mean by that? Well. For the top number, the digit 2 is in the 1's place. Make sure that your bottom number, that 3, is also lined up with the 1's. Now, the question is, you know, what if you don't do that? It's going to make it harder for you to solve the problem correctly. So, uh, let me show you what I mean. Let's slide that over, and let's just say if you accidentally wrote the number like that, and it really is a common mistake, what you really did accidentally is you created uh, a completely different number. You made uh, a number in the thousands. So instead of that 9 being 900, right, like 983, you have accidentally made that into 9,000. And you've turned that number into 9,830, which is going to uh, make your answer, in this case, completely different. So when you have the wrong, uh, the ones are lined up wrong, that means that every single digit is not correct, right? And it's probably you're going to get the problem wrong. So make sure that you line up your place value. So we did that now, right? 
Um, put in a placeholder. Anytime you have an empty spot like that for the place value, remember that nothing equals zero. Not a bad idea to put in a zero. At least do that uh, mentally, right? And so when we compare from the left side in our thousands, one and zero are not the same. The one is definitely greater, which means that by rule, that number is greater, right? And we would read this problem as 1002 is greater than 983. So let's try another one. And we'll put that in our place value chart. This one's a little bit easier, right? Working from the left, we just check our thousands and those are equal and our hundreds are also equal. But when you get to the tens, you can see that they're not the same, right? The five is greater. That means that that entire number is greater, okay? Make sure we put the symbol in correctly. And this one reads 8,725 is less than 8,752. Okay, well, let's try some problems. If you want to pause for a moment, that's fine. I'll just wait a second. Okay, let's just look. Uh, the directions compare, right? Greater than, less than, or equal. Let's start with number one. I right away see that they're both four digits, so let's just compare. This time I'm just going to go side to side instead of a place value chart. So uh, the thousands are equal, but when I get to the hundreds, I see that the two and the six are not equal, right? The six is greater, which means that that whole number is greater. We'll put in our symbol, get that in there. And so that one would read 2,212 is less than 2,600. Let's look at number two. Quick check, I can tell that the 610 is only three digits. So let's put in a placeholder to make them both four digit numbers and let's work from the left to the right. Right away, I see that zero and one are not equal, right? The one is greater, meaning that that whole number is greater. We'll put in our symbol. And that problem would read 610 is less than 1,124. Let's go down to number three. I see that they are both uh, four digit numbers, right? So let's work from left to right in the thousands, that's equal. But I noticed that our hundreds, there's 500 and zero, so five is greater, right? Because they're not the same. We're looking for the greater value. We'll put in our uh, gr uh, greater than symbol here, if we can get that in there. And this one would read as 3,510 is um, greater than 3,051. And finally, for the last one, number four, they both have uh, four digits. And it looks to me like they are exactly equal. So this would read as 8,273 is equal to 8,273. So that one was easy. So in review, we're comparing numbers through thousands today. Remember, comparing just means side by side, right? Uh, three outcomes, greater than, less than, or equal to. Uh, make sure that you line up the ones. It's probably probably one of the most important takeaways today, right? So again, your, your ones need to be lined up. And if they're lined up, everything will be lined up. Don't forget to put in placeholders, either actually do it or with your imagination. Work from left to right. And please don't forget your hungry alligator, right? So if you've made it this far, great. I appreciate it. Thank you. Good job. And we'll see you uh, on the next one.